What's up, guys? This is episode two of Ellen Wake. Um, Let's continue like where we left off. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot: a city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I don't trust this grandpa. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. I just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. That's like my agent or something. Be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> By the way, I catch the cold, so my voice is a little bit raped. What? What do you say? Oh, I'm coming. I'm here. Leave Ferry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Mm. I can't believe it. I got all your books. What's up with this uh, guy? Is he I so popular? I got the when they took it out of the window. Sit and stop. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Let's check at that bedroom. There's some restroom or something involved. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. No. So, let's... Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Yo, officer, can you shoot her? Please. Are you on your own? Or Do is me your wife a favor, there? sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You 
you need to give it a good solid whack. What the hell? Damn. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes? Drunk ass mother. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Let's check this restroom. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, uh, miss? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I of think course I not. can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. The hell? What's this word, women? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too... Oh, Even no. that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Pick them up. They wandered off from... Hi, Mr. Rake. See ya, bitch. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! The fuck? I got that the wrong keys? <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Did you guys know I have it on the lowest quality? And still, this game looks like this. It's insane. This girl's pretty slow, so I can check this house out. Let's get inside. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure yeah, thing. Sure. I'm on it. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here?
This is pretty, pretty scary house. Hmm. I'm thinking I have to go to the basement. It's closed. Oh, no way to go to the basement, so I'm going up. Oh. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. What the hell? Oh, it was this woman. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. That was pretty scary. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 1970s. Alright, let's uh, get outside and find this fuse box. Fuse box. Thanks to the radio. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can steal some of his music. Now let's uh, go to the phone. What's this? Oh, it's Shadow. Oh my, they already know what I mean. The power cable goes to that shed over there. So here's like a basement. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I don't think so. Where's the door? Oh, yeah. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. All right, it's running. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. <laughs> All right. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Hmm. Why can't we? Check out what the girl's doing. Yo, baby, where you at? Alice? Honey? What the hell? She's upstairs? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice! You... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Whoa, Alan? That? Alan? Oh, I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Damn 
us. We're out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Alice! Help me! I'm coming, baby. Shut up. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Oh my, what's going on? Where the hell did I get in this car? Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Hmm. That's my car, right? Let's make a run for it. Hello? What the hell is it light? Why? Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Mm. F5? Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, oh distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. All right, so guess I'm gonna expect something. No, Anybody there? Again. Please, I've been in an accident. No, not that guy again. Okay, hate that guy. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Nothing I can use here. No. I thought I saw something. I guess I have to climb over the tree.
Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, I need two premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-reflecting reservation deposit required. Fair and square. this guy The taking stood before me it was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm, I don't even have a flashlight. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Nice. All the batteries I can get. During your trying, if the latest thing incontestably proven, yes, like you, right ball sheriff station. Hello, hello, those collect. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. This is good. It's a freaking guy. close <laughs> there were more of them this gets me out of it oh my god ouch a gun outside a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick see like arrows when I shine you see says this way this way this way eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight Someone nice. had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Where do I go now? Ouch. Oh, that's like a generator or something. Let's turn that off, I guess. Like a chainsaw. 
The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I love the flare gun. I saw the river below. Something unclear. Uh, I guess that wasn't the idea. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what the hell was that? When I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I'm across, I'm across. Oh, hmm, where do I go now? Not a page. Let's read it. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Right. Let's see. How do I get across? Hmm. Let's go back and check. I don't really have any idea which. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. I get the feeling I'm running a show, but I'm not. Ouch! Go. You guys fucking too fast. Jesus. This way. Taken. Taken. They're taken.
Ouch. Where do I have to go? The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Finally some ammo. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Bastards. But let's get to this generator. to go inside and check. Nice. Got me a shotgun. Nice lights. Let's go. What happened? Should be good. Let's see. Oh, I have to go here. Oh, my God, that was fail. Fell again. All right, I'm up. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in the... Ooh, the weather's absolutely still, the sky is crystal clear, it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. And listen, you know what? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I was already... Nice, very good again. Here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. 
feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. All right, we're gonna save Alice, so. Let's do this. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Barry Burster is the best with no coat. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is Sue. No! Oh my god! The guy has really no fatigue, man. He runs five centimeters and he's tired already. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Making a run for it. was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what one more try the gas station was closer now it's light welcoming in the darkness Woohoo, close call. I can't see him. We can run for it. Safe haven, yeah, right. Do you see how many guy of those guys are there?
two more. Continue. Safe haven. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's make a run for it. Oh my god. Ouch. That was way too close for comfort. This is way too scary, man. God, so many. There's just way too many, man. Not even funny.
guys. Sorry I'm not talking guys, but it's, it's pretty exciting, you know. I'm trying to focus, I have no idea what to do. You guys think I have to kill this guy? Man, he's dead. You guys can throw a stick. Ejected. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Ah. Finally, some light. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. That's pretty messed up. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Alright, um, I'm gonna check this uh, gas station, then I'm gonna quit the video, because I'm recording for uh, The garage long was a mess. Day. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Alright, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Uh, buddy. You're asking if you're losing your mind now? After all the shit you've been through? Sheriff Station. Alrighty. I guess it's the end uh, of this chapter. I'm oh, not sure. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are. I'm Alan Wake. But listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please. I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. So guys, this is the end of this uh, episode, hope you enjoyed.
Oh wait, I'm gonna finish this cutscene and then I'm gonna stop moving. Tiptoes to my room every night And just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper Go to sleep, everything is alright I close my eyes 